The minister is here today to announce the province's support for the reopening of the tourism and hospitality sector during stage two of the province's framework for reopening. We thank her for being here to shine the spotlight on tourism and of course the hospitality sector. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed my pleasure to introduce the Honourable Lisa McLeod. I often say that the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries is responsible for a spectacular double bottom line. We look after the cultural fabric of the province of Ontario while at the same time fueling a $75 billion economy. Heritage, sport, tourism, culture. It's what makes us love where we live. On the 12th of March, our industries and sectors were hit first. They were hit hardest. And judging by consumer behavior data that we have seen will likely take the longest to recover. And we recognize it is going to be a challenge to get people traveling across this province and welcoming them to this province post COVID-19. That's why here today, I'm announcing over $500,000 to this region to support your local tourism, culture, sport, and heritage sectors. And I can tell you, the Ford government, if I text the Premier, it won't be more than 10 minutes before he's calling back trying to understand what the issue is and wanting to offer his help. And, and the same with Minister McLeod. Uh, she has checked in every week or every other week for the better part of the last hundred days wanting to make sure that she has the on the ground knowledge about what's happening here in the city. She knows that our largest tourist attraction is Caesars Windsor and that operation had to close overnight and it remains closed. She knows the border is closed and that presents tourism challenges both ways for us that are used to going to Detroit for some casual things and for welcoming visitors over here to the casino or to one of the great 18 wineries that we have in Essex County, an industry that is booming and building and just great things that have been happening out there. And so this is a lady who gets it and she wants to know what's happening on the ground and she wants to know how she can help. And at the end of every call, it's how can I help? What do you need? Uh, and sometimes it's just, I need you to write a blank check. That'll help us get over the hump. Sometimes it's, we need $530,000. How about that? And whatever it is, I've got a sympathetic ear. You've got someone who's going to call you back uh, and someone who's willing to listen about her business, which she's responsible for and how she could make it better together with all of us. And you can't ask for any better partnership